DG Stepper, okay? How many are going down and smoking ink? Then you finish set. Hold on. Twitch chat brain. I would like to facilitate the creation of legislation that holds people accountable for the actions that they do online. I don't know if I should get into the details because it might rattle some folks, but yes. I think there are some companies that I'm going to message or not companies, organizations that are involved with certain causes. And I'll be like, listen, if you ever need someone to, I'm your girl. Because I think if you want to pass a bill, you like you usually go in front of a group of politicians and you explain your cause. I'm like, I'll do it. I will do it. I have so many things to say. So for those who don't know, that was Pokimane, and she basically alluded to the idea of setting legislation, law, set in place for you internet trolls, bro, because y'all are getting, y'all are getting so out of hand. Oh my God. It's about time that somebody lay the law down and put you- Man, let's keep it a bean. Only shit that I see somebody, like them actually doing something with is if like, niggas fucking, those, those are spam accounts. That just be saying shit like, I hope your mother dies, some shit like that. And I don't even think niggas will go to jail. I think niggas will just get some, at most, maybe get some spinning offline. You know what I'm saying? Some public humiliation. Or like, may, might do community service, bro. But any of that other shit, bro, stop it. Niggas is not going to jail for real. Pardon me. Niggas is not. Come on. What you writing your place? Plus, 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 plus. Who is dictating these rules? Who are setting the tones and the the length of which these rules are going to be set in stone? And what I mean by that is, who is the gatekeeper of this shit? Because her, from what I've seen, I could have swore that she got caught up in uh, saying some racial slurs. Regardless if it was niggas want to bring it up back then or not. She Like, come on. If that's the case, she would be in jail or whatever based off of... What she's trying to get done, she'd be finished. She'd be done up to, regardless of the, the time frame at which it happened. And it, like, come on, come on, come on, come on. Because if she could learn from her ma her past mistakes, can't the sec can't you can't that same thing be said about the the person who she's trying to then get caught up with this situation with? Or am I bugging? Am I dragging it? Let me know. Do thirty five years for all that trolling you did in her stream on the stream last night. Thirty five to life. I'm happy she's stepping up, man. <laughs> she even said she's willing to talk in front of a, a bunch of politicians, man. Crazy. Do not give politicians <laughs> that already want to censor the internet Wait, can a we not spokesperson. Get, can, can we not, oh my can, can we not, god! Can we not get to that part first? Yo. I just, I just want to laugh at the idea of trying to legislate, trying to police, literally a stream, bro. Do you know how like insane that sounds? You can't, you can't do it. That you know how like ridiculous that sounds, bro. Pokemon's chat of all chats is one of the most wholesome chats. I'm about to say, it's not even that bad. She gets one of the most wholesome chats. It's literally not that bad. And you have it so well on the internet to where even if you do feel like the trolling is becoming a bit excessive, not only does that person potentially just gonna lose their ability to talk in your chat, but also they might lose the ability to stream on the platform. So I have no idea what you're, what, what you're complaining about right now. The reality is, is that trolling is just a part of the internet. Like he just sat there and said, you can control control your audience, you can control your community. Pokimane has a very calm, wholesome community, right? Mm -hmm. Now you get on the side with like, if you get on low tier God's side of the community, it's a little tough, man. His, his chat is crazy. That That is that is peak toxicity right there, bro. That is, that's up there, bro. I done been in a couple of them streams. I was like, boy, y'all, Y'all still going, huh? This is, this is ridiculous right now, bro. So like you, you troll, you control it. And if you don't like it, just delete it. You yeah. can. Another thing, if you don't like it or you can get them banned, bro. It's so many fucking things you can get done to them. I don't understand this shit. Even to the extent of, bro, you really don't, if this shit is too extreme for you, bro, close your fucking computer. Like, I don't like, I don't be understanding some of these, like these are, what's, what, 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 what my son agent be saying? Boredom theory? Niggas be complaining about some shit. Like, it's a problem, but it's not to the extent where you need to start talking to politicians about censoring. Come on. Or like, who's dragging it? You can police it yourself. You have mods who can police it that themselves. Too. To sit there and take it into real life legislation is crazy, bro.
yeah, this kind of just strikes me. Pokemon is some so hypersensitivity. Well. Not saying she doesn't deal with BS, because yeah. most of the BS she deals with usually is off of Twitch, but in this specific clip, she's literally saying Twitch chat is the issue. Because I, I, I can only imagine she gets way more hate on Twitter and IG and other social platforms, because on Twitch, you have so much control over what can and can't be said in your what chat. Like, you have infinite control, and there's bots you can download, and you can automate these bots to catch the trolls before. For the mods even do it even if they slip through you can have an infantry of mods catch it before anybody else sees it so like there's so much control i don't know how much you guys know about twitch chat but you have so much control over what yeah, can and can't be said that. in your chat that the chat being the primary issue is like really and even if it was you think legislation is how we're gonna crack down on it hey, bro, i don't know about you in the last decade i've seen I, i've about. seen way too much almost near like red alert scenarios for like people thinking that they can control the internet like do you remember that legislation like 10 years ago called pippa and then everyone had to get together to fight and then they yeah. two years later they come up with another legislation trying to censor more shit in the internet internet neutrality this and it's like let's not go down the path where we give people that don't even understand the internet even the concept the ability to believe that they can change the internet because they do not give a fuck about your cause they you don't mean. they're they gonna don't. try and make money because that's that's the actual real problem. The real problem is that they like the government has been trying to censor the internet for years now. Years. Okay. And you oh, cool. believing that you can be the you're gonna step, you're gonna put the right foot forward. You're the one who's gonna really set it off. And the fact that you are an internet personality is gonna do nothing but add more validity to their quote unquote concerns. But they're really not concerns, they're fake concerns. They're just sitting here pandering to people like you because they know for a fact if they can censor people, it will let put them in better situations to leverage and make more money. So the fact that you are on the internet. You know these Basically She's gonna be used As a political tool They're just gonna use her And then Really go for some other games Some monetary games And then boom What's gonna happen Is gonna snowball It's gonna start with her and, and this police And then it's gonna start Snowballing to something else That we don't like Then something more Then we're like Oh no we didn't ask for this We didn't ask for this And it's like I mean, in a sense you did, but, but now this shit is beyond you now. Now that we're involved, once the government gets involved, now it's like, oh, now that we're involved, we're going to be the ones regulating shit. Ah, uh, and once they regulate shit, bro, it's over with. <coughs> there's no real, there's no real shit for the people at that point. It's, they going to go based off of how they feeling or what, what, what works for, uh, um, whatever agenda they have. But you know, people want, people don't really pay attention to shit like that. I just don't. I don't, I don't get it, bro. Like, I get it. If she was getting absurd amount of hate, which some people are, but even then, bro, policing it to that degree is kind of fucking crazy. Like, I, I, I personally, personally, I don't know. These things, especially on Twitch, like they said, it's too much shit you could put in, in, like. Before you even see or before anybody even sees the crazy shit. So it's like, ah, I don't really understand what's going on here. Happened for the past like five or seven years now. She knows that. Mm -hmm. She's very well aware of how government has tried to censor the internet several times. You trying to be a spokesman for, for that or a spokeswoman for that. Well, maybe. Be, even if you. Maybe she's doing it for the bag. Hmm. Maybe Pokemon is, wants to do the censorship because she wants a piece of that bag. Of helping them censor you think that what you're doing is for a good cause trust me when i say they're just going to use you and what are you going to do at that point you want to get a poli t trolls in politics at that point like what do you want to do you want to do that like what what are you saying just control where you're at i just want to know the logistics behind you yeah what does she think to make what's the like detail on that build up hey uh fbi here uh we're looking for uh an omega underscore p3n1s is that you <laughs> hey, you. We saw the other day that you uh, did a little bit of did a trolling on the uh, on the stream. Uh -huh. on the stream. Did you yeah, say? Uh, I, I was about to say some of the trolls that these niggas are throwing at me right now, but it's just peak trolls right now. <laughs> oh, I bet, yeah, peak trolls, bro. Did you say? Um, <clears throat> did you say uh, Davis was uh, broke? Did you say that? Did you say he was broke? Did you say that? Uh, go low fat again? Oh, yeah, I did. I did all of that. And you did? Mm -hmm. Put your hands behind your back. I'm not going what's, like, what's what's too far, bro? For somebody being broke. Oh yeah, we gotta. We on your ass. We pulling up to your crib at 6 a.m. kicking your door, and you going to jail because you told somebody you broke. 
or you fat shame somebody or you said a homophobic slur, you said a racial slur. Like what are we what's gonna be the you know what I'm saying? The protocol for this kind of shit. Man, I just think niggas is getting out of hand and people wanna make a problem or make a bigger issue out of something that's yes yeah, an issue, but it's not it's not to the point where you need to start censor it to that level because it's already censored, bro. Per like Man, you know, it is what it is, man. Y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think, man. And make sure you share this shit with your mama, your auntie, your granny. I'm their favorite side, nigga, man. Coming to you live here first. Man, let's try to get the kid to a thousand subs. I've been going crazy over there on YouTube. I'm going to turn up next year for sure. A lot of different content coming soon outside of reactions. I'm going to have a lot of guest appearances. I'm going to have a lot of, you feel me? Just I'm going to try a lot of different shit, so fuck with the kid. I'm a little, you know what I'm saying, down right now. Not, like, depressing, but shit, like, I'm a little tired. But I think this is, you know what I mean? Stay tuned, man. That's all I got to say for y'all, man. I ain't really, y'all ain't fucking with me. Wow.